The Department of Material Science and Engineering at UT Dallas is an exciting place. Because we're a new department, we have been able to focus on the areas that are currently of interest for, for the country and for society, uh, such as microelectronics, optoelectronics, and also energy. And we work at the border between um, organic and inorganic materials. I am working on atomic layer deposition of um, high dielectric materials on 3-5 semiconductors for MOSFET applications. The current research that I'm working on is nanoelectronic materials. We work on a class of polymers uh, that we're using to build neural interfaces. Flexible electronics. Biocompatibility of neural probes. Creating single electron devices by grafting gold nanoparticles onto an organic molecule that's on a silicon substrate. Metal and metal oxide nanoparticles for use in energy applications. I'm doing nitridation of silicon surfaces. The level of funding is pretty extraordinary. Uh, we have, um, uh, on average, uh, last year we had $600,000 a year per faculty um, funding, and this year we're going well above 650k um, um, per year. Uh, and that places us really at the level of the best material science department in the country. What attracted me to UT Dallas was uh, the facilities, okay? So we had in the same building all the facilities that we require to do the entire research because we have everything from fundamental simulation all the way up to a prototype, okay? It's not every university has that capability. I now work in the Natural Science and Engineering Research Lab build. It's multidisciplinary um, and it's just got amazing resources. Everything's brand new. It's state-of-the-art clean room. Um, it's a very collaborative uh, environment just because you do have material science, electrical engineering, biology, um, bioengineering, chemistry all together. Um, so it's a great environment to be in for research. What I really like about being a student here is um, working in the labs and getting the opportunity to work with different professors. We have a, a great set of faculty um, which is both diverse in terms of their background. We have people who are trained in chemistry, physics, electrical engineering, even mechanical engineering and of course material science. And I'm also proud that our faculty is also diverse from the point of view of representing many groups. We have two women in our department, we have two Hispanics, we have one African American. We have really good role models for a large segment of the student population. Diversity is, 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 is something that's celebrated at wherever I am. Um, and I found that to be the case here. This is going to help to develop a whole new generation of scientists that have a very broad vision of what science and technology is not only in the United States, but, but worldwide. We have a very close interaction with industry. In fact, more than half of our uh, faculty members come from industry. And so that gives us tremendous insight and connection with industry. I have a number of grants with Texas Instruments where I help them with their advanced transistor technology. Um, and as a result of that, we also have very uh, good collaborations with the Semiconductor Research Corporation that encompasses many other companies as well, such as Intel and IBM. I graduated from UT Dallas in May 2011 with a PhD in electrical engineering. I started working at Texas Instruments in May of 2011 as well. I uh, defended my PhD in January 2012, um, started work at Texas Instruments in uh, February of 2012. My mentor for all through my uh, five years of PhD uh, was from uh, Texas Instruments and is still as Texas Instruments. So he has known all along what I wanted to be and uh, what, what I want to do. Material science uh, students at UT Dallas should realize that there's a great deal of collaborative work that goes on here between the different engineering departments as well as with industry. And this can be very pivotal in preparing them for a real world industry job. The University of Texas Dallas has a very good industrial park where startups can be incubated. And this is something we are going to need more in this country, scientists becoming scientists entrepreneurs to bring the science from the lab into the marketplace. I think here at UTD, um, the opportunity to have ideas is, and, and practice them and explore um, new research 
I guess, applications and things like that is always encouraged. And that's a good opportunity for grad students uh, just to become free thinkers um, and have the opportunity to make a big impact uh, with real world problems. It's really exciting to be part of a program that's so young and growing so rapidly. Um, and just seeing the drive that the university as a whole has to improve the programs and expand the programs and the research here. I really think that the Department of Environmental Science and Engineering at UT Dallas is one of the best kept secrets uh, in the country and I intend to um, unravel that secret and make it open to everyone to know.